Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Real quick video for you today. I've had a few people ask me about this, so I thought I would just show you what it looks like. On the ZV-1, before I dismantled it and put it up here for strictly overhead shots, when I was using it, you know, on a regular basis and I was constantly changing the power for it and, and how I set that up, the final thing that I did was that I added a couple of items together to put the power brick in a different position other than just having it Velcro strapped to the back of that Bluetooth grip. I didn't like the way that was. It kept slipping. It was just, it just wasn't good. But we all know you have to have additional power for that ZV-1 if you use it at all. Here we have the Aero brick, battery brick, whatever. And what I did, and I'll show you this on the overhead, is I took one of these hot shoe I don't even know what you call it. Like, I'll, you're just gonna have to look at the descriptions and because I'm gonna link all this stuff. But where am I going? All right. So it's just this little hot shoe thing that slides in, and I'll try to get as close as I can and have it still focus. So basically, this clamp here, I have used that Gorilla Tape on the back of it, and I have it glued basically to the back of this candy bar power brick, and then I have a little hot shoe so it's got this little square plate that slides into into a hot shoe or a cold shoe and then it has the the little tightener that goes down on the threads and tightens it down then i have this clamp which acts like a hot shoe almost and then you can screw this down and get it tight so this piece again is gorilla taped down onto the flat surface of this power brick so that goes down in there like that and then you just take that, slide it in, tighten that screw down. All right, so that's not going anywhere. And then you just screw this little piece here, the, you know, where the threads are sticking out, into one of the quarter 20 holes on the cage. So of course you have to have your ZV-1 in a cage, but that goes without saying with me because I have all my cameras in cages or L brackets or whatever. So you just screw this piece down in, and then you can use the the little circular tightener thingamajigger here to get it down there good and tight. And then I have the Velcro down here just as sort of a, a little bit of an insurance policy to make sure that this piece doesn't flop off there when you hit it or, or for whatever reason. It just sort of holds it down there and it's, an, it's just another way other than just that Gorilla Tape to hold all those pieces together. And then you just take this obviously, and you, I used to, what I do, and I can't show you because I'm not taking this apart, but I used to put this on the furthest screw hole, quarter 20 hole on that cage, so that basically the ZV-1 was like right here like this, and it just sort of stayed on it, so the, the entire length of this sort of went across the top of the ZV-1, and then of course you just plug it in. Now, it's relatively balanced because it's over in every direction, directly over the ZV-1, which means now you can use the entire contraption powered, put it on your Crane M2 and balance it because this isn't that heavy. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's not heavy enough to keep the ZV-1 from balancing. Keep in mind that the Crane M2 is able to handle my A6600 in like a full cage and still balance and still work just fine. So there's no reason, and, and I have done this. Again, I'm not taking all this shit apart to show you. You're gonna have to take my word for it. It's not that difficult to imagine though. It, it's, trust me, this works. So I'm gonna put a link to these kind of pieces here into the description down below, and I'll even link the video. I mean, what the hell? I'll even link the video that I'm talking about where I think going at like 36 to 38 seconds, I'm holding the ZV-1 with this contraption on there. And then you can kind of pause the video and take a good look at it and you'll see what I mean and you'll see why everything works. That's all I wanted to show you today. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Again, I'll link all this crap in the description. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.